All right, guys. Just to hit the record button uh, while I was cutting the little, this last couple pieces here. And the battery died, and I didn't realize it. So I got the pieces cut. So sorry. The battery died, so moving on. Ah, get out of this thing. Here you go. Cold Steel GI Tonto. This thing I've had for a little while. It cost me 20 bucks. This, I think... Where did I get this from? Man, I've had it for so long, I couldn't tell you offhand where I got it from. So... Let's just put it this way. I'm still using it, and it's still going. I got this along with that, uh, the, uh, Kukuri Machete at the same time. Uh, that's the thing. I can't remember where I said I got them from. I think I bought them off of eBay from a dealer. I can't remember. I'm not sure. I didn't get these from yourcornerstore.com. This is before I knew about that place. So, we'll see. Still going, though. These things, for what the page at least displayed, awesome. It's not all that sharp anymore. It is, but it's not. Not factory sharp. Just what I've touched up on it. Benefit to have a full tank blade. Hit both sides. You need to get through it. Man, it's hot out here. I'm taking my hand off. It's wet. This process of wood stuff hard work, man. Not a guy that can tell you, oh, that's not hard. Yeah, yeah it is. It's not easy being cheesy. Awesome. This thing's wearing well, also, as far as pain. Where it looks on the plate and whatnot. Which is, I am impressed. I'm just happy as could be with this thing. Especially for the price. 20 bucks? Shoot. Get out of town. Even the retail from Cold Steel is 35 bucks. I think it's not going to break the bank. I've used it on many occasions to do exactly what I'm doing right now. Granted, I haven't videotaped most of it. But, you know, it's still going, man. You see, it's still going strong, dude. Wearing the blades. Paint's wearing well on it. The edge is holding up on it. I touched the edge up a couple of times on the stone at home. You know, that goes with any knife. Um, anybody that tells you that they've gone through wood 500 times with a piece of the same knife, never sharpen it, and still shave your arm? Yeah, right. I don't believe that one bit. There's no way that's going to happen that way. Trust me. I've done enough of this. No, you need to touch your blades eventually. You'll need to put do a little touch up on your edge because your edge will dull after a while. But uh, these carbon steel blades, the edges will hold up pretty well and last for a good while. So you don't have to sharpen your knife every five minutes. Which is kind of awesome. What time is it? Yeah. I, uh, should be at the store now, hopefully. We'll go find out here in a little bit. But I'm not quite finished here yet. Yeah, this blade, like I said, 20 bucks. I wish I had a couple more of these. Here you go, Christmas present. I gave away uh, roach bellies this year. Maybe next year. Give away some of uh, these people. It's not going to break the bank. I think I bought five roach bellies. Kept one for myself. Gave four away, so yeah, five of them. And, uh, cost me less than 50 bucks. For that, from your corner store.com. There I go again on that. But, uh, I mean, you can't beat that place, man. The prices at that place are just phenomenal. Okay, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this knife because it's been out, out. I got a couple videos out there about it already. Just impressive, man. It's nice and straight still. Beat, beat the crap out of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Impressive. It will rust on you. It is carbon steel. So, uh, I'm going to take care of it. A little bit. Uh, 
Besides oil, uh, doesn't bother me putting on my gloves too much. Well, the bad thing is this kind of smells up your backpack eventually. Not careful. Alright, I'll, uh, one more pass. No, this will be alright. Um, how much time's on here? Five minutes? Alright, what else do I got here? Um, we'll finish off that last piece of wood. And it'll be the last bid. Because I'm running out of time here. Because I still gotta pack everything up and head out. We'll do the, the recon scout again. On this bad boy, this wood right here. Yeah, guys, uh, thanks for coming along with me today. Hope you guys enjoy my hiking videos. Some of you guys enjoy them. I know you guys. some of you guys want to see gun videos. They're coming. Took everything. I had to get out here today, for the most part. I'm still busier to beat the band. I got all kinds of stuff going on. But, uh, that'll be it, guys. Cold Steel, Recon Scout. Get the camera. Uh, ah. That's dirty. Boots are dirty. Muddy in here. We had a lot of rain during the week here. Uh, sorry I didn't get to test all the blades here. I'm going to pick the camera up real quick and pan around. Look for them again. Don't worry. Like that. You'll see that again eventually. That and Recon Scout and Profile Gerber. Here's the SRK. Wore a, very well worn there today. Did a real good job. Looks like looks like even the blade actually got a couple grooves in that. I could be wrong. That just might be the paint. See in the middle of the blade there. I think it's just the paint coming off of that. But yeah, excellent, excellent. Then uh, Becker BK9 worn well today. Uh, cold Cold Steel GI Tonto still wearing well. The OSS. Like I said, look for it in other vids. This is my uh, fighting knife. It's going to be on an LBE. Um, it does chop decent. I did do, did a little bit of chopping with it uh, the last time I was out here, but I'm out of time, guys. I appreciate everything. Real quickly, there's my pack. It's all loaded up with a couple, couple of coats, a uh, light jacket, my jacket I wore out here today, um, a bunch of other stuff, medical kit, survival uh, kit, little kit out of my uh, EDC bag, my w, extra WD-40 can, and I will eventually have all these knives and stuff in it too. So uh, look for a review on that soon. Um, it's actually technically my school book bag, <laughs> but I couldn't resist bringing it out here. So yeah, I'm impressed with it so far, and I haven't even had it uh, loaded up a fraction of what it'll carry. So and it's comfortable to wear too. So. All right, guys, I'm almost out of time. Thanks, everybody. Um, oh, yeah, and this bad boy right here. Look for uh, more more chopping coming with this bad boy here. <sighs> Sorry I didn't get to it today. It'll come, though. Yeah, I've chopped a little bit with it, not a whole lot, though. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get everything packed up and ready to go. Let's get out of here. Got other engagements to get to, like my uh, new rifle and such. Um, thanks, everyone, and uh, see you all later. And again, John... Thanks for sure, buddy. I could, like I said, I could use a few more. Thanks, guys. Bye.